to a new episode to my galaxy. So we have to rescue Luigi again. We have to go to Battle Rock Barrage again. But I just edited out the whole level to save time. So we have to bring this little bullet bill over here and then... Someone help me! Well, I thought I'd go crazy in there. Yeah, yeah, you want this powder star, right? Only if you tell Rosalina, I found this one out. So then it'll give you a green star. There's a Luigi side to this game, but nah. It's just practically the same game twice. So I guess you could say I've been in this game. So now I'm going to show you this hungry loom outside the kitchen dome. You need 600 star bits. Transform! Now, in this galaxy, the funniest line in the game is in this galaxy. There's only one level, or one star you can get. And trying an eel outbreak. Eel. But look at this one funny lion. Talks to the wrong guy. Grandpa's getting old! <laughs> That's the funniest line in the game. Grandpa's getting old! So you have to throw shells at the eels. Why can't you just eat the eels? So there's an eel outbreak. I remember in the beginning of the school year, and a couple of my friends can relate to this because a couple of my friends who watch me, like Turtle Watcher 1, my good friend Turtle Watcher 1, we go to the same school, we're in the same classes and all that. But what's funny is that do I missed in the beginning of the school year everybody joked about that Zizi Bola. But a lot of kids don't know what happens. But I read online that it causes you to bleed to death and I've seen a picture of a person bleeding to death with Ebola. Blood was coming out every opening at her body, eyes, nose, mouth. It's creepy. And I'm pretty sure a bunch of weird kids, if they saw this level, they would have been like, they're eel outbreak more like eel bola outbreak. <laughs> That's how creepy kids can get. But my little group of friends, we're not creepy. But back, this game just really reminds me of kindergarten. Yeah, well, when I was in kindergarten, 2008 to 2009, that's probably the greatest year of my life. So I recommend using red shells to get the eels because they automatically lock on the target. It's like in Mario Kart. Yeah, Nintendo kept it easy for us. But in kindergarten, well I started kindergarten in 2008 and a lot of other people I know did. And every kid in my school had, a, every kid in my class in my had a Wii with Super Mario Galaxy. And all the boys, they would go they would have like a play date every week and they'd go home and play hours of Mario Super Sluggers. And I still haven't really beaten Mario Kart Wii. I'm only missing one card. Yeah, but it's a very hard to get one. So now at the honey climb galaxy, scaling the sticky wall. When it says scaling, it means climb the sticky wall. You don't have to like, find a scale and use it. So it reminds me of kindergarten. So I never really had much. Of, I didn't own a video game system until first grade, which was 2009 to 2010. And that was a great year, but if you ask me, second grade was a horrible year. Third grade was horrible. Fourth grade was just. It seemed perfect. But. It was turned out to be horrible. Almost every kid in the school is living a seemingly perfect life. It's like, then in fifth grade, at first it was like, oh, this is a horrible year. But here, so many star bits. So there's a bunch of meteors, and as I always say, they look like yummy, big, juicy, tasty meatballs. Oh my gosh, what happened? Fly? All I want to do is lie. It's a PewDiePie reference. So I died a bunch of times. That I missed! Fifth grade, yeah, every kid thought they were living a perfect life. 
Yeah, like, what's that Lego movie that everything is awesome? Mm. Do I miss? Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Everything is awesome. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, they probably were thinking everything is awesome. And then, thanks to two awesome people, my friend Nate and my friend Yo-Yo, yeah, Yo-Yo Man 565 on YouTube. They made fifth grade better. The ending. It was just like, it was like during a speed run of a video game. A flawless ending. Yep. Inch your way up. Now, so, sixth grade so far, the fall part was pretty good. Yeah, mm hmm I have a bunch of memories. It's new, exciting. Now we're at the Gusty Garden Gallon, because bunnies in the wind. I hate how this game always wants you to chase bunnies. No! I'm sick of bunnies. They're annoying. Bunnies, pretty sure star bunnies are considered to be one of the most annoying enemies in video games. Factor is also a very annoying enemy in a video game who's also a bunny. Get out, bunny to bunny. He always disables the liot. FNAF 1, he's the most common jump scare. Next to Chica. Foxy, well, it's pretty rare if you get jump scared by him. Yeah, so it took me a couple of tries to finally get here. It's why my life counter is messed up. I just edited out all the fails. This was like 25 minutes and now I'm able, I was able to edit out 12 minutes. Just remember the one phrase. YOLO! Bunny the bunny, for me, is the most common jump scare. A couple of people die by Freddy because they don't... Because on later nights they keep forgetting to close the cam... The, close the right door before checking the cameras. That's how he sneaks into the room. I finally defeated one of those wrench throwers. Yeah, I... Said there was a free one-up. I accidentally got the one-up, which kind of wasted some time. Mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. It reminded me of the early days. Believe me, I didn't get my... After I got my Wii, a lot of kids were still playing it, which was pretty good. But then, what was worse was, when I first got my DS, everyone moved on. They discovered this thing called Minecraft. Then, in third grade, I was fully... It's like... In kindergarten, kids were all playing on the Wii. By the time I was all playing on the Wii, everyone moved on to Xbox and Minecraft. Or as I like to say, Minecraft. I don't like Minecraft. Stupid bunny. Think you can catch me? Boy, boy! Why do you keep saying that weird thing? This bunny likes to cheat. Yeah, I can catch the grass and you can't. <laughs> Take that. Okay, okay, you got me. Take this. Boy, annoying. Last time I caught a bunny, shiny bunny, I would always go, <laughs> and one person didn't like it. <laughs> yeah, but that's been taken care of. This level took me a million tries. It was only a few hours ago when I recorded this. In fact, I think, I sh I sh I'm like, I should record more. Should have gotten one more star. Yeah. Or sometimes I make the video really short so it'll take a shorter time to process. Try to get above the wind fan blow. That's my best tip. Okay, 
Well, at the time, only my sister's home with me, and I just heard some weird noise. She was probably watching TV or playing on her iPod. Now it just went away. But it was pretty crazy yesterday when, um, Dad came in. And I think I'm recording because I see the little green lion. And the clock is ticking on my microphone thing. I use my webcam microphone and it works fine. Post commentary as usual. But anyways... In kindergarten, I didn't have a Wii. Instead, I fell in love with... I discovered the video game, the DDR video game franchise, and it's my all-time favorite video game franchise. It was the video game that made me want to own a video game console, but I never got to own one until four years after I started playing. And I never owned a good version until, like, six years after I started playing. If you want to play a good DDR game, a home version that's good, play stick to the PS2 game. No spin-off titles. The spin-off titles are horrible. And on every other console. I was stuck with the Wii versions for two years, and they seemed good, but they were the worst video games I've ever played. Gotcha! Yeah. And most kids now they have fancy schmancy screen recorders for everything like on their computer and iPad. Well I don't. So I really hate to break it to you. My FNAF LP will be done on a camera. You know the 10 minute recording limit one. But I'll just do it night by night, okay? Night 6 is impossible for me. It's all stupid Bonnie and Chica's fault. <laughs> and there's one horrible thing known as double door syndrome. It's when you close both the doors and go on the cameras. That's what I always end up doing with Foxy. And that worm is just so creepy. Happy to say, in my whole life, I've never eaten an apple that had a worm inside of it. But now, today, I'm probably going to have one. Yeah. Yeah. This level can be hard if you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. If you notice there's a little bug right here. It's a little thing that glitch that happened. So, uh, so I landed. Land. So then I'm doing it again. I didn't repeat it. It's just that I messed up. I failed the recording. No, I... I messed, I failed the level, so I redid it. This is one of the quickest video game bosses. Yeah, now the next challenge is play this level without losing a single slice of health. That's the prankster comment. Comment. Hopefully this video won't take as long. So I edited out the little rage quitty had. So, it's almost done. Come on. So, yeah. Ground pound. Ground pound again. Spank him like that. <laughs> then you collect your star. And so, that pretty much wraps up this episode of Super Mario Galaxy. So, I'll see you next time, and bye-bye.